Hello, thank you for watching. In today's video, what I'd like to go over is how to revive an old laptop. Uh, in today's example, we'll be using a, a Lenovo 450 or T450. This laptop is about seven years old as of May 2022. And so in order to revive it, as you can see right now, we have we have a version of Linux Mint version 20.3 and let me bring up the specs for both the laptop and uh, the operating system that we'll be using today this is it this is Linux Mint 20.3 and it's gonna be installed on a Lenovo laptop with a i i7 uh, processor with 16 gigs of RAM and so to go ahead and start this process uh, you need to go ahead and first go to uh, Linux Mint uh, website I'll, I'll provide the, uh, the link in the description download the ISL file and then install that ISL file onto to a either a DVD or a USB thumb drive once you do that, you plug it into your laptop, boot it up, and then you should come up to this uh, desktop right here. And then to start the install process, we're just going to go ahead and either double click on the this icon right here, or you can right click and then left click on open, and that will that will start the install process. And then right here, you'll have right here um, what language you want to choose you choose your language and then click continue then you want to choose your keyboard layout and then click continue you want to go ahead and uh, click on install media docs this is so that you can play different types of uh, videos and media on your system and then you click next And then right here, you have two choices of how to install Linux Mint on your hard drive. You can choose this first option here, which is chosen by default, which is erase the disk and install Linux Mint on your whole hard drive. Or if you already have an operating system, say Windows, on your laptop, and you want to install Linux Mint next to it, then you'll want to choose other or something else. But for today, we're going to go ahead and choose Erase the Whole Desk, and we're going to install only Linux Mint on this hard drive. And then we're going to click on Install Now. It's going to give you a brief summary of what you've chosen, and then you just click on Continue. And then it'll go to the next step. Give it a few moments here. And then you can choose where you are in your part of the world. For me, I'm along the eastern coast in um, America. So I'm going to choose New York, and then I'm going to click on Continue. All right, and then you put in the, um, you go ahead and put in the username that you want to choose for this computer. And then you want to go ahead and choose your password make sure it is a secure and good password and then make sure require my password to log in is checked and then you click on continue all right and then after that that's all you need to do you just wait for it to install it will install your uh, Linux Mint version onto your laptop and then after that you will see a message that comes up and it will say the installation was complete and then you'll have two options either to continue playing around with Linux Mint and looking through it or you can go ahead and choose reboot and then at that point it'll tell you wait for the message it'll tell you when to go ahead and uh, take out the USB drive or the DVD press enter the computer will reboot 
and then it'll come back up to a sign on screen where you can put in your your password and it's as simple as that that's how you go ahead and install Linux Mint on your used or um, older laptop or desktop I think if you have an older machine you're gonna want to try and use Linux and out of Linux you're gonna want to probably try I would highly suggest you try Linux Mint as you can see here it has a very simple interface it has a start menu right here and you click on that you left click on that and a bunch of menus will come up with all your applications you should really try it I think it's a good uh, distro to try it's not the only distro I'm not saying it's the best but it's very simple it's very easy for a new Linux user to uh, to navigate through and use so thank you very much I appreciate you looking at my video please like and subscribe and I hope you have a good rest of your day bye bye